Uh, good evening, my name is Johnny Howdy, principal of Kasumna Oaks High School. I would like to welcome you to our 2020 Senior Awards Night. These awards not honor just our students, but also their families. These awards also honor our school, our district, and our Elk Grove community. I would like to introduce uh, three of our board members who would like to share a message with our graduates this evening. We have Bobby Singh Allen, Carmen Forchina, and Nancy Chaitis Espinosa. Thank you. Hi, this is Bobby Singh Allen, trustee with the Elk Grove Unified School District and a proud Kasumnas Oaks mom. I just want to take this opportunity to thank each and every one of you for your hard work for over the last four years and again congratulate you. The future is bright and your hard work and dedication has paid off. I wish I was with you today, but again, congratulations and good luck in the future. Hello, CEO seniors and soon to be graduates of 2020. My name is Carmen Forchina and I am a member of the Elk Grove Unified School District Board of Education. I am pleased to be part of this virtual award ceremony that is recognizing your achievement. Circumstances are different this year, but in no way do they diminish your effort. Throughout the year and previous years, you've shown dedication to your education, and now you receive recognition for that effort. As you go forward, look forward to the opportunities as well as the challenges. You are CO strong and you will face the future with the same determination that brought you here today. Again, congratulations on your effort. Greetings, Wolfpack Nation. My name is Nancy Chaitis Espinosa, and I have the honor of being your representative on the Elk Grove School District Board of Education for Area 6, which includes Kasumnas Oaks High School. I'd like to take the opportunity to congratulate all of tonight's honorees on your accomplishments, particularly those towards the end of the year during these unprecedented times that we're all living. I know that you are going to go forth and make us proud, prouder even than we already are, of all of your accomplishments, not just those academic and athletic, but also with respect to the empathy and the compassion that you continue to develop as we navigate these historical experiences. So without further ado, let's meet the top 10 outstanding scholars. Congratulations, Wolfpack Nation, class of 2020. Hello, I'm Jackie Woldridge, Vice Principal at Kasuna Oaks High School. The top scholar award goes to seniors who are ranked in the top 10 of their class over a four year period based on their weighted cumulative grade point average. This is the highest academic honor a senior can receive. Each of our top 10 students has identified one educator who they would like to honor as having influenced their academic success. Let us begin by recognizing our number 10 student. This student has a 4.508 GPA and plans to attend UC Irvine where he will study biomedical engineering. Congratulations to Viet Bao Tran. Viet Bao's honored educator is Eileen Bradford. Ms. Bradford is a science teacher at Elizabeth Pinkerton Middle School. Our number nine student has a 4.517 GPA and plans to, ascent, uh, to attend UC Berkeley where she will study molecular and cell biology. Congratulations to Jeremiah Diane Gunak. Jeremiah's honored educator is Yuri Tanaka. Ms. Tanaka teaches Japanese at Kasumas Oaks High School. Our number eight student has a 4.527 GPA and plans to attend UC Davis where she will study neurobiology, physiology, and behavior. Congratulations to Ann Wendley. Ann's honored educator is Amber Lassiter. Ms. Lassiter is a PE teacher here at Kasim Sosa High School and also coaches cross country. Our number seven student has a 4.534 GPA and plans to attend UC Irvine where he will study data science. Congratulations to Kevin Wu. Kevin has selected Nathan Elkin to be his honored educator. Mr. Elkin teaches AP Physics at Kasumas Oaks. Our number six student has a 4.537 GPA and plans to attend UC Davis, where she will study biomedical, biomedical engineering. Congratulations to Audrey Mandup. Audrey's honored educator is Jeffrey Comer, who teaches AP Chemistry at Kasuna Oaks High School. 
Our number five student has a 4.545 GPA and plans to attend the University of Nevada, Reno, where he will study pre-nursing. Congratulations to Nathan Joshua Dizon. Nathan has selected Dylan Brantley as his honored educator. Mr. Brantley teaches AP Biology at COHS. This year we do not have a number four student because we had a tie for the number three spot. Our first number three student has a 4.561 GPA and plans to attend UC Berkeley where she will study engineering. Congratulations to Madeline Ng. Madeline has selected Kristen Smith as our honored educator. Ms. Smith teaches AP English Language and Composition at Casimunas Oaks. Our second number three student also has a 4.561 GPA and plans to attend the University of the Pacific where he will study pre-pharmacy. Congratulations to Nicholas Ha. Nicholas would like to honor his second grade teacher, Lords Lambert. Ms. Lambert teaches at Isabel Jackson Elementary School. Now to introduce our valedictorian and salutatorian is our teacher in charge, Mrs. Delisa Foster. My name is Delisa Foster and I am teacher in charge. It is my privilege to announce the salutatorian and valedictorian for the class of 2020. Our salutatorian is Camille Bella Agricola with a grade point average of 4.6333. In addition to her academic success, Camille has in, was involved in activities on and off campus. On campus, she served in the roles of vice president and president of the California Fed Scholarship Federation. She has held membership in the Honor Society, Key Club, and Link Group. Outside of school, she volunteered with Methodist Hospital and was an office intern with her music school where she played piano for the past seven years. One of Camille's favorite memories at Consumers Oaks was, earning, uh, was attending junior prom where she enjoyed dancing and having a good time with all her friends. In the fall, Camille will be attending UC Davis and majoring in neural biophysiology and behavior. Camille was select, has selected Amy Raisin as her honored educator. Ms. Raisin teaches AP economics here at Consumer Oaks. Our valedictorian for the class of 2020 is Benjamin Chen. He has earned a cumulative grade point average of 4.6780. Ben has been an active member on campus and on community activities. On campus, he has been involved in the Science Olympiad and Math Leads. Outside of school, he is a concert master with the Camilla Symphony Orchestra as a first chair violinist. Some of his favorite memories during high school include junior prom, math leads, competitions, and senior sunrise. In fall, Ben will be attending UCLA, majoring in biology. Ben has selected Rachel Baird as his honored educator. Mrs. Baird teaches AP English Language and Composition here at Consumers Oaks. Congratulations to all of our top 10 scholars and their honored educators. Now I would like to introduce George Smith, our athletic director, to announce the Military and Athletic Awards. My name is George Smith. I'm the athletic director here at Consumers Oaks High School. It's my pleasure to recognize the U.S. Army Scholar Athlete Award. We'll recognize a female first. This female was a four-year varsity starter on our girls' volleyball team. She was a varsity captain for three years. She was the most valuable player her senior year. She has been a scholar athlete all four years while attending Consumers Oaks High School. She was in 2019 First team all city. She has received an athletic scholarship to attend California State University Stanislaw and she maintains a 4.0 GPA. So our award winner goes to Haley Rundo. Our male recipient is an individual who is a four year varsity wrestler while here at Consumers Oaks High School. He was a state meet qualifier, section runner up, a division runner up as well as a league champion. Additionally, he was all league, all league selection as well as a second team all Metro selected. He has represented the school with honor every time he has been on the mat. Our award winner 
is Brian Null. Our next award is our United States Marine Distinguished Athlete Award. This female was a three-year starter on our girls' varsity soccer team. She was a varsity captain for the 219 and 2020 athletic season. She was a 2020 first team All Delta League selection. She has been awarded an athletic scholarship to play soccer at Dominican University of California. She maintains an overall GPA of 4.1. Our award winner is Aaron Tufts. Our male recipient goes to an individual who has been a model student athlete on campus. During a limited golf season, he finished in the top 20 at a prestigious St. Mary's in Invitational Tournament. He finished in the top 10 at the Lauren Roberts Tournament. He was also a member of our boys varsity basketball team. He was a defensive stopper and a sharp shooter for, for our team. He, he is honorable, engaged, responsible, and respectful of his teachers, his coaches, his teammates, and his opponents. Our award winner goes to Jackson Orban. The Consumers Oaks High School Distinguished Student Athlete Award goes to a student who has earned eight varsity letters while attending Consumers Oaks High School. This year we have two recipients. Our first recipient was a four-year varsity member of our girls' varsity golf team and a four-year member of our, girl, of our swimming team. She has an overall GPA of 4.0. Our first representative was Ella Collette. Our second representative was a four-year varsity member of our girls' cross-country team and a four-year varsity member of our track and field team. She has an overall GPA of 4.5, and our second recipient is Anna Wendling. The Consumers Hoax High School Female Athlete of the Year goes to an individual who is a four-year varsity track and field athlete. She was a two-year state meet qualifier in the discus, a three-time most valuable player in the field events of the throwing the discus, she holds a shot put and discus record here at Consumers Oaks High School. She's a two-time national champion in the hammer throw and holds a national record. In the fall, she will attend Oregon State on an athletic scholarship. This year's Female Athlete of the Year goes to Markella Billings. Our male recipient goes to an individual who has been a three-year varsity athlete and a three-year varsity track and field athlete. He has been a four-year scholar on the basketball team and a three-year scholar on the track and field team. He was the Division II section champion in the 110 hurdles and the 300 hurdles. He will be attending UC Riverside on a track and field scholarship. Our male athlete of the year winner goes to Martin Billings. It is now my pleasure to introduce Mr. Vincent Lee. My name is Jesse Champion, Vice Principal Kasumna Soaks High School, and I have the honor of presenting this year's military awards. The first award is our Math and Science Award, and that is being presented to Viet Bao Tran. Our next award is the Scholastic Excellence Award. That is being presented to Miguel Cruz. And we have the Semper Fidelis Award for Musical Excellence being presented to Larry Hill Jr. Thank you. Perhaps we're familiar with the quote, with great power comes great responsibility. A quote that fits Jordan Parmley and Angie Mangeli perfectly. In the case of editor-in-chief position, the power comes in the form of inclusion and coverage. What and who gets included in this permanent artifact matters today and will matter for years to come. That's why these two young women should be commended for how seriously they take their responsibility. They carry an incredible burden that asks them to juggle schedules, deal with deadlines, and the consequences of staffers not meeting them, and manage student dynamics, all while ensuring the book, the book is as accurate, fair, and inclusive as possible. Not to mention, they are the spunkiest yearbook cheerleaders you'll ever meet. All of this responsibility requires a tremendous amount of time spent outside the school day leading editors' meetings, work nights, covering on and off campus events, nights and weekends, and troubleshooting them morning and night. With Caitlin Knox and Lulu Gomez, 
rounding out an incredible editor's team, Jordan and Angie, also known as Janji. Bravo for all your hard work. This yearbook, New Laikas, is what it is because you were in charge. I'm Matthew Mason, Activity Director here at CO. Our current ASB president has been essential to the organization of COHS this year. She didn't start at CO as a freshman, but she joined leadership and became deeply involved in her new home school. She made CO her alma mater as if she had only come here and led school spirit like no other from lunch events to football games. And this year, she didn't stop due to the coronavirus. She even was helping plan decorations for our drive through cap and gown. With that, I would like to present the gavel for ASB president to Jacena Fong. I'm Dylan Brantley with the Science Department and I'm presenting the Science Award for Nicole Lee. Nicole Lee is one of the most capable and caring students I've ever met. She encourages those around her to make investments in their education and attempt to fulfill their potential. Nicole will do extremely well in college and beyond, not simply due to her intelligence and her work ethic, but because of the friends she will make and keep along the way. Nicole is kind, hardworking, and intelligent. But more than that, Nicole is someone to be proud of. I am proud to have gotten to teach Nicole in her last year at CO, and CO is proud to have helped her develop into the amazing person she is. Most importantly, she should be proud of the growth that she strives for and achieves. Great job, Nicole. Ambassador Physical Education. We have two phys physical education students to recognize, one male and one female. The young man we'd like to recognize has been a model physical education student for the past four years. He has a perpetual smile on his face when he comes to class and an infectious positive attitude. He continually strives to improve himself and give his best effort. He inspires those around him through his efforts and supportive nature. During PE class, he always challenged, challenged himself physically and enjoyed participating in a variety of ac activities. Not only is he an excellent PE student, he is also a stellar individual, smart, kind, helpful, and just an all-around good citizen, Kendall Matthews. Our young lady was a big part of Miss Anderson's walking class this year as she was enrolled in it for three terms. She knew every route like the back of her hand, she was the leader for the majority of the walks and always set a brisk pace for everyone to match. This young lady never came to class with an attitude of not wanting to exercise and never made an excuse. Her smile and positive attitude was contagious and inspiring to her peers. She is an absolute joy getting to know and have in class. A very deserving Crystal Torres is our female PE student of the year. Hello, I'm Jennifer Hendricks and I am presenting one of the Performing Arts Department awards this year for theater and dance. Even under these strange circumstances and unusual times, I am happy to be presenting this year's Theater and Dance Department Performing Arts Award. I've been fortunate to share the last four years with this individual and have been blessed to be part of her time here at CO. As a freshman in Hype Dance Company, she was meek and quiet but over the last four years, she's battled from back row formations to front row fame. She's always pushed beyond her comfort zone, and even though she began as a ballet trained dancer, we know her affectionately now as Jenna, the hip hop dancer. Jenna Emmons has been an amazing member of the Visual and Performing Arts Department, and I am proud to present her with this year's Theater and Dance Award. From jazz dance to children's theater to art and the spring musical, Jenna has dabbled in it all. Jenna is not only a talented dancer, but she's also a choreographer, an actor, an artist, a vocalist, and a set builder, and also an amazing leader. As a student director, she's led her peers with heartfelt emotion, inspirational dedication, and uplifting positivity. She is genuine, good-hearted, thoughtful, generous, honest, and openly friendly to everyone. Congratulations, Jenna, you earned this. Hey, I'm Rachel Baird and I am presenting the English Awards. The English department is excited to honor Lucy Wachira for her hard work and dedication to improvement. Lucy has taken risks and challenges head on and works with unparalleled determination. 
Never shy about asking for help or feedback, Lucy has touched the hearts of everyone within the English department for her fearlessness and open mind. She is a vocal participant in class discussions, as well as a spirited leader within the student body. She gives back to teachers and classrooms by volunteering for any task and encouraging other students to be the best versions of themselves. We can't wait to see what she accomplishes in her future. The English department has also selected Corinne Bernards. Miss Lobby writes that Corinne is a rare breed. Never one to back down from her opinion or a healthy debate, she is a thoughtful, engaged student we all hope will grace our classrooms. She diplomatically approaches others' opinions and posits her own, both in class discussions and in her writing where her voice is undeniable. She writes with clarity and relatability and shows deep thought and reflection through her work. Corinne is kind beyond measure, she is mature and wise, but she is also silly and goofy, which greatly enhances the overall classroom. Seo will miss you, Corinne. Hello, I'm Mike Manganon, band director, and I'm here with Christina Ball, choir director, and we're presenting the second Performing Arts Department Award. This next senior found his home in band, choir, and the theater rooms alike, which makes him a prime candidate for the Performing Arts Department Award, but there's more. In speaking with other staff members in the department, this young man has been described as a shining example of our core values here at Kasumas Oaks. He is responsible, respectful, honorable, and engaged. To his peers, he is respected, trusted, admired, and influential. To his teachers, he is talented, skilled, hardworking, adventurous, and courageously optimistic. And to all, he is an accomplished, creative human being who is consistently kind and generous with others. On a personal note, I can say with certainty that this young man has been a joy to teach, connect with, and learn from. All our department's hopes go with him as we look forward to seeing and hearing how he will continue to make this world a better place, just as he has done in our programs for the last six years. So, it is with great pleasure and immense pride that I give this 2020 Performing Arts Department Award to Kellen Ta. Thank you. It is not every year that I have an outstanding photo student. This year, however, I am honored to present the Visual Arts Award to Violet Kwan for her excellence in the field of photography. She was chosen not only for her creative work, but also for her enthusiasm with the medium. She always went above and beyond taking pictures that you could tell entailed a lot of thought, detail, and effort. It was a pleasure to have Violet in my classes, not only as a student, but also as a TA. She always strived to do her very best, not only in photography, but in all her classes. And as my TA, she always made sure everyone felt welcomed and that everyone got all the help they needed. She was also our photo club vice president and was always there to help in any way. Violet Kwan is an outstanding human being. Please join me in congratulating Violet and wishing her the very best in her future endeavors. Lastly, I want to leave you with this quote by Art Wolf. Never stop looking, no matter where you are. Everywhere, there are good photographs. My name's Dave Berner and I'm from the strategies department. And um, we have a student that we'd like to recognize. And once in a while, you find a person you have a pleasure and honor to know a person that is really just a nice person and uh, they would go out of their way to help others no matter what. This year's recipient of the Strategies Department Recognition Award is that person through and through. Not only are they nice in every respect, but they also exemplify the four pillars of Kasumas Oaks High School. They are respectful, responsible, honorable, engaged. Uh, the student has worked very hard during their four years at CO to adapt and overcome learning challenges. This they have done in addition to always being the first to volunteer their help both inside and outside of the classroom. The strategies department would like to congratulate Carl Berry for being our outstanding student. My name is Jennifer Wilson. I'm the coordinator of the Medical Careers Pathway. It is my honor to present the CTE Department Award to Puneet Kaler. Not only is Puneet one of the first graduates of our pathway, but he is also the first pathway student president. Puneet is an outstanding role model for our students and has worked very hard to establish the foundation of our pathway. 
He has worked with our local healthcare partners to establish events such as ER Day, Pediatrics Day, our Mentor Nights, and our monthly MedPros guest speakers. He has led our Pathway students with kindness and respect. He truly cares about each of our students, and not just our students, but the community in general. Puneet, I am so proud of you. I know you're going to be an amazing doctor. I know you're going to help so many people, and I wish you the very best. Congratulations. Good morning. Uh, the CTE department is proud to recognize Tommy LaChapelle for her outstanding achievement during her three years in the Culinary Academy. Tommy is a gifted chef and a natural when it comes to the hospitality sector. Tommy's enthusiasm, creativity, and leadership exemplify the uh, qualities of an ideal academy student. Her direction, resourcefulness, and attention to detail uh, truly enriched her classes uh, and our program. Tommy was an integral part of implementing, managing, uh, and operating our student-run enterprise, the Iron Wolves. I have great faith that regardless of what lies ahead, Tommy will succeed through the challenges of her future. Tommy, it's been a pleasure teaching you. It's been a pleasure working with you. Uh, and it's with great pride I get to present you with this award. Uh, I hope your laundry room is always tidy. Congratulations and good luck. I'm Melissa Sherwood with the math department and um, our decision for who would receive the math award this year was a difficult one because there's a long list of students that we considered and looked at. Um, the two students that stood out were first, uh, Ruja Yang. She has been a top student in all of her math classes at CO. She demonstrates strong mathematical skills and that extra component of just beautiful work going above and beyond what's regularly required. She would often make me smile when I would check her work because her passion was so evident. And besides her strong math performance in class, she also has a humble spirit and desire to help others succeed. Marisha consistently volunteered enthusiastically each week during Wolfpack Hour to tutor our Math 1 students, showing her dedication and care for others. Our second student to receive the Math Award this year is Benjamin Chen. He also regularly does exceptional work that goes above and beyond what's required, and he also always asks insightful questions that enhance the learning environment for everyone. Even though Ben scores near the top of the class with every assessment, he still jumps at every extra credit opportunity, and even comes in to take extra quizzes during the off time of intercession, just for fun, to see how he's doing. His curiosity, hard work, and dedication to learning make him shine. Thank you. The Social Science Department would like to recognize two students who over the years have made incredible impacts in our classrooms through their commitment to their own academic success and that of their peers, a commitment to civic involvement, and a clear love for social sciences. We believe that both of the award recipients today create a positive presence in the classroom and demonstrate dedication to learning every single day. Our first award recipient is Camille Vela Agricola. Camille has demonstrated mastery of every subject matter within the Social Science Department ranging from geography and history to psychology, civics, and economics. In addition, she has successfully completed and excelled in every advanced placement course that our department has to offer, and every teacher in our department has had the, who has had the pleasure of having her in class uses common words to describe her. Disciplined, hardworking, compassionate, positive, engaged, kind. They say she's a joy to have in class, and she is supportive of her peers when they struggle. She's an active participant in her own learning, and most of all, we all recognize that she positively contributes to our classrooms every single day. As a department, we are extremely proud of her and her accomplishments at CO, and are certain that she will continue to enjoy her earned successes for many years to come. With that said, it is my absolute pleasure to award Camille Bella Agricola with this year's Social Science Department Award. The second student we chose for our department award tonight is Kevin Cativo. Kevin has undoubtedly demonstrated an insatiable love for the social sciences over the past four years, and we have all enjoyed watching him grow immensely as a student. He has proven to us time and time again that dedication and hard work are the cornerstones of academic success. What stands out most to the teachers in our department about Kevin is that he pays close attention to current events in the world and keeps himself informed and engaged as a civic-minded student. Kevin is a type of student that, through his own positive actions and demeanor, empowers others to engage in discussions when they otherwise may have remained silent. Kevin leads by example and makes no excuses when he makes mistakes. He is reflective and fearless when it comes to taking academic risks, and his intellect is driven by curiosity, and his positive, joyful attitude brings a brightness to any classroom. We are so grateful to have had Kevin in our classrooms and to be able to honor him this year with the Social Science Department Award. Hi everyone, I'm Antoinette Corbin. I'm a science teacher here at Consumer Soaks. 
Um, today I'm going to be recognizing a student that we found in the science department to be um, an all-around great student and also a great scientist. So today I want to recognize Traeger Melton. Um, he has always had affinity towards science courses and even though physics and astronomy are his favorite, he was very engaged and actively participating in my AP classroom. Traeger's ability to do well in my course wasn't what really stood out to me about him most. He had a natural ability to think about science and a real, and real world, with real world applications. His questions were relevant and they challenged me as an educator. When he asked questions in class, all the students wanted to listen because they knew his questions were gonna be directly related to some questions that they could see on the test. Um, he loved to share what he knew with his peers. He was very helpful in class. Um, and he was always trying to make sure that all the students would be, were gonna be successful. Traeger is a humble student who takes nothing for granted. Working hard and positively contributing to his community and home and school. His caring spirit and work ethic will guide him through his future teaching career. Trey is gonna be an excellent scientist and also a teacher. He's gonna bring excitement and passion into the classroom and I'm honored to have been his teacher and can't wait to see the great things that he's gonna do. Stand proud, Traeger, you earned it. The Alpha Award is the most prestigious award given at Sumner Oaks High School. These students best exemplify the core values of the school. Accomplished scholars, accomplished communicators, and natural leaders. The recipients are chosen based on many factors, including their scholastic achievement, honors and awards, leadership in clubs and organizations, participation in athletics, and school activities. Also important are the acceptance of responsibility, cooperation, willingness to get along with others, community service, and contributions to the betterment of Kasumnas Oaks High School. These are truly leaders of our campus in all areas. This year's Alpha Award recipients in alphabetical order are Nitya Agarwal, whose honored educator is Carol DeCulante. Jared Brown, whose honored educator is Bethany Moslem. Ella Catlett, whose honored educator is Stephen Farwell. Jacena Fong, whose honored educator is Kristen Smith. Keisha Jensen, whose honored educator is Rachel Baird. Sarah Krautswick, whose honored educator is also Rachel Baird. Violet Kwan, whose honored educator is Dylan Brantley. Brian Knoll, his honored educator is Amy Raisin. Kellen Toth, whose honored educator is Bethany Moslin. Ann Wendley, whose honored educator is Andrea Lalonde. Jessica White, whose honored educator, Laura Chase. And finally, Ruisha Yang, whose honored educator is Amy Raisin. Congratulations to you all. Good evening, I'm Matthew McCracken, Vice Principal. As we conclude this virtual awards ceremony, we remain keenly aware that the work that was required of students to earn these awards was anything but virtual. So too, the organization and production of this virtual ceremony required tangible effort by dedicated staff members. We want to express our gratitude to all those staff members with special thanks to Ms. Chase and Mr. Olson from Counseling, Mr. Mason, Activities, Mr. Young's Video Production. To the families and friends watching this broadcast, we want to thank all of you for the support you have given these students. To all of our award winners, we want you to know that we are proud of you. We have confidence in you. And you fuel our hope for the future. Now, virtual or not, please take time to applaud, cheer, and celebrate. Thank you. <laughs>